Hi guys, feeling super congested this morning. I just took a COVID test, but I'm, I'm good. good. We finally have a semi kind of um, snowy day in New York. Even though I am dreading to go outside, it is rainy and slushy and the snow is black and gray and disgusting. It's like absolutely gross and slimy outside. I am not excited to go outside, but uh, God, I'm too old to go out. I went out for like so many days in a row last weekend because I was like, well, I'm leaving New York City. Why not? Let me just be a yes man and say yes to all of my friends and try to live my life to the fullest for my last month here. And a bitch is sick. <laughs> Like, I've been sleeping really late because I've been hanging out with my friends and my skin is like, fuck you. Absolutely not. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really tired and the weather is making me really sleepy, but I am gonna try to go to Barry's for the first time. And I'm really scared because first of all, I'm not in the greatest condition. Second of all, Barry's is like scary. Barry's boot camp, bro. All of my friends that have been to Barry's always tell me like, you're gonna, you're gonna throw up, you're gonna feel sick, sick afterwards, afterwards because it's so intense, yada, yada, yada. So I'm not really that excited for it but i feel like i've been feeling really slow so yeah i feel like i should probably take you guys along and give you guys my honest review of barry's boot camp as someone who doesn't work at they should they should just have more of that like honest reviews of all of these like hype workout classes from a person that doesn't really work out. I don't want to see all these like hardcore fitness influencers who wake up at 5 a.m. every morning being like, Barry's bootcamp is so easy. Like, <laughs> killed it. I'm like, bitch, that's not accurate. Like, ah, not for me. I wake up at 5 p.m. at night. Of course, Barry's bootcamp is going to be so difficult for me. But, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated. I literally just finished my first Barry's class and I can't even talk. <laughs> Holy shit, I was already really sick in the morning and I think that just made me even more sick. <laughs> it was nice to sweat a little bit, but holy fuck, I don't think I've ever ran that much in my entire life. They were like trying to make me sprint at a speed that is physically impossible for me. I am 
actually physically incapable of running that fast. I don't think they understand if they made me, if they actually made me run that fast, I would actually fall off the treadmill. Other than that, everyone else was very fit and I felt like a little lost chicken in the class. It was very embarrassing. But you know, there were two girls next to me who were also new to the class. It didn't really feel that bad knowing that there are two other new people with me. But they were good. They're fit people. I don't know, they were talking in an Australian accent. I don't know if it's Australian in them. My verdict uh, was correct. Berries is definitely not great for beginners. Start off with something else. The overall vibe of the class was really great. It was very clean and nice. Everybody else was really welcoming. They had a dope changing room. But now I need food. are hurting and my neck hurts my whole body hurts uh, I'm not okay I need to draw myself a hot bath and just soak in it for like two hours after I eat but berries is not for the strong I've done like Orange Theory before, but it's like not that bad. And Orange Theory is like 30 minutes of non-stop cardio and then, or yeah, and then 30 minutes of like HIIT workouts and just like bodybuilding stuff, muscle training. But this is like 10 minutes on the treadmill, 10 minutes of HIIT and muscle training and then back and forth, back and forth like twice. So two circuits. For some reason, this just hits harder. I don't even have the energy to talk or eat. Like looking at this bagel, love this place. I used to eat it all the time in college. This was like my guilty pleasure and I used to bring it to class all the time and like try to scarf down a bagel when the professor is talking. And now I don't even want to look at it. Uh, I need to stretch out my whole body. Ow. Ow. Oh. 